With cancer incidents running at two, one in every two in the population now, Holly, we thank you deeply from our heart for all the work you do within the NHS. <laughs> Friends, we've got a very short video to play you now, which has been uh, compiled from a selection of key workers across the UK, all trade union members. Okay. Colin, can we have the video up? First of all, how great is it to be back at Durham Miners Gala? I think it's a real testament to the organisation that it would choose at this gala that are dedicated to the key workers that work through the height of the pandemic. These are the individuals who put their health and at times their lives on the line during the height of the coronavirus crisis. I'd like to give a shout out to all the retail and distribution workers. Those working in logistics, care workers, every single member of staff in NHS. Refuse collectors, street cleaners, delivery drivers, engineers, you've got raw mail, going out there, keeping the country connected. Those working on the railways that kept this country moving. They showed up every day, did their jobs and kept this country running. I want to pay tribute to our members who work from home, juggling, working to increase deadlines and homeschooling their children. Every single key worker have played their part in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. I remember driving to work on the first day of lockdown, not knowing how things were going to be. So much uncertainty about how to stay safe. Other people have been told to stay at home, you are going to go every day. I worked on the front line and there was a bit of a fear of the unknown amongst my colleagues. We were there on site with our vulnerable and key worker children or in a virtual classroom. Some of them even chose to move out of their family homes in order to protect their loved ones. It was very worrying times for, for me and my colleagues. We're working under stress, under pressure. We were reaching into post boxes, bringing out the COVID test kits, not knowing if today would be the day we'd catch the virus and take it home to our families. It is a thing we've never seen before. None of us could have predicted it. But the loss and the damage it left behind is still vividly being felt within our profession today. God knows how many we lost due to insufficient safety measures. And unfortunately, COVID came into the prisons. I'd like to pay tribute to unfortunately the 27 of my colleagues across the estate uh, who lost their lives. And you know, we have seen the ongoing impact of um, mental health. It's been a life changing experience. I'm so proud of my colleagues. I would like to thank everyone who worked during COVID times. I'm standing in the door and privilege of all key workers. I'm still now because that space isn't over. The, the promises of the politicians, the Conservative government standing on their doorstep. Clapping is not going to pay the bills. This country is reliant on key workers and it's about time that that reliance is recognised. How do we get a decent pay packet? a decent pension and decent terms and conditions. We got it by fighting. So this is our call to action colleagues. Being in a trade union is absolutely vital to that purposeful change. If we stand together, we can make a real difference. Workers deserve better. And working together, we will come through this. So I would encourage everyone to join a union. Find out who represents you and join. Because together we are strong. I'd like to share my solidarity and pay a special tribute to all education workers who feel the blind that during this pandemic. Today, I want to pass my thanks. Thanks to the family and junior for the great heroes of this pandemic. It's us that keeps the world turning. You are amazing. You are all true.